this is not financial advice. I just hope you brought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, Ric Flair, woo, you not going to buy the dip, and then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me, and I'm not having that. So if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. And hit that like button to show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list, you already know what time it is, family. It's the one, the only, AMC Entertainment. Took a symbol AMC. At the time it's recording, AMC is currently $57 a share. It's currently up 7% on a day. It's up 7% on a week. And it's up over 80% on a month. Let's get it, baby. You already know we got in this back when it was $12 a share, baby. And we currently running some options on it. And we running some Neo options. But I want to salute the Discord family for these few options. So, currently, we got an $85 Neo call up 41%. We got a $100 NEO call up 26%. We got a $30 NEO call up 135%. Major salute to the Discord family. If you hitting these home runs with me and you want to track to the next home run, baby, let me know in the comments. If you want to be up on the plays early as we are, hit that Discord link in the top comment. We're going to welcome you with open arms, whether you're a new investor or a veteran investor, baby. Hit that BlockFi link while you're down there and hit that Webull link so you can load up on some free stocks, baby, and they got fractional shares now. But what's going on with AMC? I want you to check this out baby check this out let's start right off with the ortex data so now remember two days ago ortex were post they posted this they said there was a surprisingly high short interest and they said it was 18.56 percent of the free float now the price and actually it started to pull back just a tiny bit right you know why because the short sellers was attacking and next thing you know the short interest came down and you saw you actually saw it go to 17 percent but guess what family they said this just three hours ago. Now, the AMC is up 6% from when it opened. Guess what? They said it was up 1.18% all the way to 18.94% of the free float. So, what does that mean, family? That means we are this close to getting a 20% short interest. Why is that important? It's a really strong psychological level to show the apes that you hold them for a good cause and for a good reason this is not financial advice you do what you can do but this is a very good sign because we know they were trying to pull it back and back and back and what do i mean by pull it back pull the short interest back by manipulating the data not ortex but the short sellers doing funny things in the background just like a snake to try to make it seem as if seem as if they weren't shorting the stock as much as they actually were baby so now let's check this out now this is charles Schwab and major salute to my discord family for putting this on my radar and they recently have been up Updating, 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 along with a lot of other large institutions, their requirements for their margin accounts. A margin account is a loan account, family. So they said this, and make sure you got your listening hat on, family. It says this. It says, we adjusted our margin requirements on certain securities. Now, it says this. Due to a recent market activity, or due to recent market activity, we've adjusted margin requirements on certain securities, aka stocks, and they said this. Please note, and now they threw Robinhood right under the bus with this one. You already know. If you remember what happened with GameStop back in the day, about uh, in January, February, around that time. So look at this. They said, please note, neither Charles Schwab nor TD Ameritrade halted clients from buying any stocks or selling any stocks that they own. Neither firm restricted executing any basic options strategies. However, we raised margin requirements on the following securities, aka the stocks they're talking about, and they said they'll keep you updated on the list. Now, look at the new requirements. And I want to show you, they scared the AMC, but they really scared the GameStop family. Take a look at this. Now, let's start with AMC. And now, I color-coded it just so we can match them just for you in the back that find it hard to pay attention. Now, here we go. It says this, AMC, and then you got GameStop. Both of them are in blue. Look at the margin requirements, both in blue at the top and the top again. So it says 100% margin requirement for any long position. So if you wanted to buy AMC stock or GameStop stock, with a Charles Schwab account as a large investor and you wanted to go long on it, you wanted to hold it for the long haul and you wanted to get it on margin, you wanted to get a loan, that means you would have to have the equivalent amount 
in your account. So if you wanted to buy, let's call it $100,000 worth of AMC stock on loan, you would need to have $100,000 already in your account. So then the total would be 200,000. That way, if it came down and it dropped down right in price, guess what? They could cover because they know that you have exactly what it is in your account. Okay, boom, they covered themselves that way. Shout out to Charles Schwab. But look at this family, look at this. In green, it says for AMC up top, it says now 200% margin requirement for short positions. So if you want to short and bet that the stock is going to go down and you want to spend $100,000 on that, guess what? You're going to need $200,000 in your account if you want to bet $100,000 that this thing is going to drop. That means they're not playing around. They know how crazy shorting this stock can go, how crazy shorting AMC can go. But look at this. They said for GameStop, GME, on the bottom in green, it says if you wanted to short this one and you wanted to short $100,000 worth, Guess what, family? You need $300,000 in your account. They raised the bar on the margin accounts. They raised the bar. And then look at this in purple. It says shorting this is permitted. You can short AMC and take a look at this on the bottom. They said you can also short, and this is in purple, you can short GameStop as well. However, here go the differences. Here go another line of differences in like red pink color. It says selling naked calls is permitted. Now that's legal. This is not the same as naked shorts. Now, it says this, selling naked calls is permitted. And then it says, selling naked calls on GameStop is not permitted, is not permitted. You cannot sell naked calls on GameStop. Now, we already know for a long time, top brokers have been trying to tighten up for everything. They've been preparing for a major short squeeze or major market volatility. Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Citigroup, everybody, top brokers are quietly tightening up their rules. Now it's not quiet anymore, family. Take a look at this on the bottom. The changes mean that hedge funds and other institutions now face higher collateral requirements or are limited from shorting or buying certain stocks in a certain way. What does this mean? We've been waiting for a long time, since at least March 5th, right? For the NSCC rule to pass, and now it is effective as of June 23rd. What does this rule do? It does this. It drastically changes the time frame from one month to daily, if not hourly, that they're going to be checked in their margin accounts. Now, if they had Charles Schwab accounts, you know what time it is. If they were shorting AMC or GameStop, they would need 200 or 300% of that in their account. So imagine getting how easy it would be now to get a margin call if they were all doing this with Charles Schwab. But we know that they're not, family. This is just Charles Schwab. But I'm bringing this up because I want you to understand how the big dogs in the background are saying, look, we are not trying to have to pay for all of this. If these hedge funds mess up, we want it to be on them. And we want to be able to cover ourselves. This is what Charles Schwab is saying. But I want you to be on the lookout for other organizations and other large companies that are basically upping their requirements as well. So, because remember, in the background, they know a lot of things that you and I are not privy to, but they can see it family they can see it so they're preparing and this is a good sign for all of us apes because you see the fear you can see the fear oh yeah and you know what else you can see people moonwalking like words like michael jackson moonwalking trying to walk it right back take a look at this this is none other than the motley fool and they said this summer will only get better for amc if you've been rocking with me you know how crazy they've been going on amc you know how crazy they've been going on amc and i'm gonna get back to this but i want to skip to the end of this article just so you can see how slippery the snake is how slippery the snake is you try to basically get the snake out of your grass next thing you know you got venom in your back family venom in your back and then let's take a look at this it says all the way in the bottom we're gonna get to it but it says this it says the thesis all along their thesis right the thesis all along has been that the theater patrons will come back well they're back so they're saying that they've been saying all along all along that the theater patrons were gonna come back and they knew it all along, this has always been their thesis? Hold up, you mean the same company, the same company, allegedly, that has been putting out these hit pieces on AMC time and time again, sometimes multiple in a day. Take a look at this, The Molly Fool. We just went over this yesterday, but I want you to see it because they just told you the thesis all along was that people was gonna come back and this is gonna make it a great summer for AMC. Take a look at this, they just recently told us, if you been rocking with me, you already know, they said avoid AMC like the plague. While Reddit traders would like you to believe manipulation 
manipulation is the is this a whole nother article this is a whole nother article and this is the one that we read yesterday and just compare it to the one today where they're saying that oh amc is gonna be great and this was our thesis all along we always knew we always knew right but let's keep going they said that you believe that manipulation is the reason behind amc's high short interest but it's actually because of amc's poor operating systems and mediocre outlook on the theater industry as a whole and then they said for the past 19 years ticker sales have been going down the drain and a steady decline why because streaming services are pushing the movie theaters out and amc it continues to shrink as part of the pie and remember this from yesterday too it says amc is being driven by hype and misinformation and it is clear not clear how long this irrationality will last one thing is clear a pump and dump scheme like this can only last for so long and it always ends poorly okay but let's look at the article today right let's look at the article today let's go back it says summer will only get better for amc movie theaters is they had their strongest opening since basically 2019 pre-pandemic and they said this because fast nine Basically, the ninth Fast and Furious film is estimated to get 70 million in domestic ticket sales. And then, guess what? They said the last movie to do any better than this was before the pandemic, and it was Star Wars Episode 9. Now, and then they go and say, and it's not only good because of domestic ticket sales, they said that they Fast 9 basically topped 400 million in ticket sales worldwide since opening. And it just opened a few days ago. Now, it says this on the bottom. AMC has not just been one of the market's hottest entertaining stocks or entertainment stocks it's been one of wall street's biggest winners period and then let's get back to the thesis they said the thesis all along has been the amc patrons will come back well they're back it, let me tell you something man if it looked like a duck it quacked like a duck it's probably gonna stab you on your back make sure you stay focused family but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds i love y'all Take care.